Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to another session of Face to Face to Online Transition. In today's session, you will be learning how to create this interactive PowerPoint presentation by creating hyperlinks to the existing file or to a web page. And stay tuned for the part two, where you will be converting that interactive PowerPoint presentation to an interactive PDF. And you will also learn how to insert that interactive PDF into your Microsoft Teams. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Here I am on my blank PowerPoint presentation. I'm simply going to go ahead and change the background. I like it to be a gradient, so I think I like this. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. That should be good. And the next, I'm going to go ahead and copy the pictures of the PowerPoint presentation here. I'm going to copy, Control V. I'm going to go back, Control C, and then Control V. And then I'm going to go ahead and insert the arrow. I'm just going to keep a plain arrow here. And I'm going to change it to black. I think I like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and insert a text. I'm going to go ahead and increase the size of this. The font size is too small. I'm going to go ahead and increase that. There you go. I think I want to change the gradient just a little bit. Yeah, that should be good. And once I have it, I want to make sure this PowerPoint picture is clickable. This PDF picture is also clickable. In addition to that, this entire text box is a clickable link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select the text, right click, and I'm going to link. And once I get here, PowerPoint is going to ask me, hey, do you want to link it to a place inside this document or you do want to link it to an existing file or a web page? I want to go ahead and copy the web address for my YouTube channel and I'm going to go ahead and paste it here. So I'm simply going to go to my YouTube channel, copy the link, come back and paste it right here. And I'm simply going to say, OK. So that's taken care of. Next, I want my PowerPoint picture to also be a clickable link. Same as the case with the PDF. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, insert a new slide. One slide is for my PowerPoint picture and another slide is for my PDF. So once I'm here, so just to make it fun, I want to go ahead and paste a Bitmoji here. So there you go. And then the design pops up. I'm going to go ahead and see which one I like. I think I like this one. I'm going to keep it to that. The next one, I'm going to go ahead and paste another Bitmoji. There you go. And I think I'm going to go ahead and click this one. I like this format. Perfect. So I'm going to my PowerPoint. I'm going to make sure I click on the picture. Right click. Link. I do not want to link it to a web page. I want to link it to the place inside the document. So I want to go ahead and this is slide number two. You can see the number of the slide right here. So I want to link it to slide two. It's going to give me a preview. That's exactly what I want to do. So whenever I click on that PowerPoint picture, I want it to go to the next slide, which is slide two. So that's taken care of. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on my PDF. So when somebody is going to click on this, I want it to link it to a place inside the document, which is my slide three. So now let's go ahead and see if that's working or no. So in my slideshow, yes. Let me go back. Yes, perfect. Let me end the slideshow. 
And now what I want to do is every time I come to a slide, I want to go back to my main page. To do that, I want to go ahead and create a clickable picture right here. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and copy my Bitmoji again, and I will paste it right here. I'm going to go back, paste the Bitmoji all the way here, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a link. So when I click on this Bitmoji, I go back to the main page. To do that, I'm going to click on this Bitmoji. I'm going to turn off the design link here. I'm going to click on the Bitmoji, right click, link. And again, what do you want to do? When I click on this Bitmoji, I want my students to go back to slide one. So they are in the home page. So it's just a nice way of having a home button on every slide. So when the students are lost, they know exactly where to go back to. Same thing again, click on your Bitmoji, right click, link. When they click on that, I want them to go back to the main page or slide one. Now let's go ahead and check if that's working. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and click on the link to see if it's working. Perfect. So that's how you create an interactive PowerPoint presentation while creating hyperlinks within the file or to a web page. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please make sure you like, subscribe, and if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. There could be an instructor who really needs this feature. And again, please stay tuned for part two, where you will be learning how to change this to an interactive PDF and also embedding that into your Microsoft Teams. And always remember, happy teaching.